In this video, I'm going to show you how to fold an origami pig designed by Francesco Mancini. I use half a square with the dimensions of 24 cm by 12 cm or 9.5 inches by 4 and 3 quarters of an inch. The finished pig is then about 9.5 cm or 3 and 3 quarters of an inch long, about 7.5 cm or 3 inches high and about 2 cm or 7 eighths of an inch deep. As you can see, it stands very stably. Now in this video I will use paper that is colored on one side and white on the other, which gives you a model that has a white body and a colored head. But I recommend you actually use paper that has the same color on both sides to get this cute looking pig. So let's get started. We're first going to fold the paper in half, edge to edge, so that we're folding the long edge in half. And then we're going to bring this raw edge to the folded edge. Flip over and repeat. Then open up completely and now fold in half parallel to the long edge. And now flip over and fold in half like this so that it's easier to fold the diagonals. For this we're going to take this edge and align it with the folded edge. and crease all the way up to down here. And unfold and repeat for the other side too. Unfold and now flip over. And this time we're only going to crease the diagonals on these top two squares and leave this section unfolded so that we get a clean finish on the folded pig. So I'm only creasing up to here and the same on the other side. Now we're going to unfold this completely again and we're going to form this base right here, this water bomb base on the top half of that rectangle. And then we're going to take that and we're going to fold it in half like this and we can let these flaps just go up. And then while we're holding it in the air and holding it here we're just going to push so that the model collapses like this. Now we want to bring this paper in along this edge that is folded. We want to do that on the front and on the reverse too. So I'm just going to flip it over so you can see if I go in here with my fingers, maybe take this corner right here and push so that it moves like this. And this is what it looks like from the side. And we're going to push this in and we want to flatten these sections down so that this angle right here is a 90 degree angle. So I'm going to hold this with my hands and then pull it out until I have an angle that I like. You can vary this, but making a right angle is the easiest if you're looking for a reference. Then we're going to tuck this paper inside here. And the same on the other side, just tucking that paper inside there. And then we can fold these two flaps down again and we're going to form the ears. For this we're going to fold this edge onto itself and you can do this up to taste. If you want a reference you can try and get this section to be about the same width as that section or perhaps a little less. And then make a strong crease and on the other side, 
just mimic the other ear so that it looks quite symmetrical. Like that. These ears we want to shape. For this we're going to take that corner and fold it in so that this point is basically in line with that edge underneath. Then make a strong crease and then we want to hide that away so we're simply going to fold it behind. And you can do it right away to the back but if you want to know how much to fold in it's easier this way. And as you can see we're doing it on the other side too. We also want to form the snout and for this we're going to go inside these layers. So you've got two flaps on this side and two flaps on that side. And I'm going to put my thumb in here and then push here to push the paper inside. Again you can fold this in as much or as little as you like. And again I'm going to go about one third of this distance and you can adjust it to your liking. You can also change the angle by pushing this in farther which makes it go more like this or you can have it go more outside and then it's straighter. So I'm just going to go with this. That's the shape I like. Now we're also going to form the neck here and for this we're just going to open this section up a little. We're going to start a crease right where you can see that ear starting. And we're going to push in the paper so that you're basically folding it until it meets that ear right there. Again, this is up to taste. And if you want, you can keep the model like this. This is the easy version. Or if you want the pig to look the same on both sides, you can push this paper inside in a movement that we call a closed sink. So for this, I'm going inside in the center and pushing with my finger on that section and from the top too. So that I'm pushing in the paper and this paper we want to go inside too. And then we're pushing it and closing it like that. It's a bit more difficult, but it does make both sides look the same. Now we want to form the legs. For this we're going to take the top layer only and make a crease between this point right here where the ear meets that white layer and that bottom corner. So we're folding this like that making a strong crease and repeat on the other side and then again we're going to unfold it and hide that paper inside going along the crease we prepared. So we can just push that paper in and then push it in so it goes along the crease we prepared. And the same on this side. First unfold then open up to push the paper inside and push it in until it follows that prepared crease line. Like this. And all that's missing now is a tail and you can go however far you like with this tail and if you want a reference perhaps we can do a quarter of this distance right here and fold it in and I like to do this so that we have a right angle here. Make a strong crease and then fold it back again and again it looks nice like this but if you want to hide the paper away we can again sink this and this is even trickier but um, you can give it a try and if it doesn't work just go with the easy version like this. So I'm going inside these layers and I'm putting my finger in there so that this section of paper opens up. You can see here there's three flaps, six layers of paper. So you take two to one side 
and one to the other. And then you're going to push this in so that you will have all of the paper go inside along that first set rather than the second set of creases. So I'm pushing this in using my fingernails and I'm not pushing it in completely because we want that tail to go outside again so you're really just pushing a small section of paper in like that. And on one side it's going to be a bit easier because you have mountain folds already just from the pre-creasing or from the simple version of the tail. And then when you have that you just press it flat and then you can see you have the tail looking about the same from both sides. And then finally to make the pig stand just open this up a little bit to widen it and there you go. Your origami pig, designed by Francesco Mancini, is all done. Diagrams are published in Origami USA's online magazine The Fold. Plus, you can admire more of Francesco's work in his Flickr stream. And if you liked this video, do let me know by giving it a thumbs up, commenting below and sharing it with others. Now, how about you fold another model designed by Francesco following one of my tutorials? Or check out my playlist of origami animals. Finally, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss my next videos. I hope to see you around and, as always, happy folding!